Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 16 home screen widgets that you must have on your device. Now with the release of the new iOS 16 and the new lock screen widgets, there is a lack of new home screen widgets, but there are of course a ton of apps that have been released before that offer amazing home screen widgets that I believe are very, very useful and iPhone users must have them and try them out on their device. Now we're starting with the first one it's called all my batteries and it's really useful i showed this also on a video that i did on lock screen widgets because it also offers lock screen widgets but the home screen widgets are really great as well so what you will have here with this app are the batteries of your devices all you have to do is make sure that you have the app installed on your other devices like i have it on my MacBook and I have it on my Apple Watch as well. It will also show you the batteries of your other devices which you can add via Bluetooth from the app. And you will have all the batteries here and it works really great. And with the home screen widgets, it's even better. Now what you can do here is go to the app and with the, with the free version, actually you can have four different devices. With a paid version, you can have of course unlimited. Now the way it works, you tap right here and it shows you the list of the devices you have. And you can go ahead and add your Apple devices, Bluetooth devices, or your current devices from here. So you can see right there, $2.99 for lifetime. So it's not that expensive and you will have always the track of your device's battery right on your home screen. Next up is device monitor. Now with the device monitor app, you can monitor everything regarding your device from your storage to RAM memory right there and everything else you need to know. And it offers a bunch of different home screen widgets. Now you can see we have a few right there. So we, we have the RAM memory, we have the CPU usage, the storage, and then the battery. Then we have one here, bigger one for the storage. And we have storage here and RAM memory there. So you go into the app and you will have all kinds of like different things that you need to know regarding your device basically everything that you must know for for your device you will have right here everything is here all the details you can know about your device and with this app you can of course also have them on the home screen next up is smart battery now this is a really interesting app now when it was released it was just for battery and now you have it for your storage as well now what it does it will calculate the storage and the battery of your iphone and will show you how much you can do with that storage that you have left or with the battery percentage that you have left now right here we have the widgets this one is for the storage so you can see right there it shows me how much free storage I have and what I can do. So I can take 15,960 photos with the free storage that I have, or it shows me right there how many minutes of video I can record. Pretty cool. So we'll have all kinds of different widgets, of course, with different sizes. And this right here, this is really amazing. With the battery that you have left, it shows you how many hours you can play on your iPhone, listen to music, make phone calls, or watch battery, watch videos. So you will have it right here. Now, currently it's showing zero because I just recently installed the app like, like a few minutes ago. So it will take some time to actually adjust this and show you the proper minutes here, but just give it some time and you will get all the details there regarding the battery and how much you can do with the battery that you have left. Next up is a very popular one, of course, but it's very useful. It's the Google app widget. Now this one is really cool, especially the one at the top. Now we have a smaller one just for a search, but that one at the top is one of my favorite widgets of all time, because you can do four different things with that one widget. You can Google search, you can search with voice, use your lens, or open an incognito tab directly from here. So you don't need to open the app at all. You wanna go, incognito just tap right there and you're just good to go it's as easy as that and it actually works really really fast next up is widget one of the best if not the best widget app of all time now widget is of course very popular i had it on a few of my videos and it works very good on ios 16 as well now with widget you can have a bunch of different widgets this is actually a great app because every day you will have new widgets that you can use on this app. They have an amazing rated community. And of course, within the app, you can explore different widgets. So you can see we have this one right here and you can see it's actually transparent, which you can do with this app. So we have here a pretty cool one. It shows the battery right there and it shows some information right here, which is really amazing. Going into the app, you will see here we'll have an explore section 
And what you can do with this app is have home screen widgets. You can search them from here. And of course, just add them. You will have lock screen widgets as well, which is really cool. You will have watch. So it offers an Apple Watch app, which basically lets you just use like custom watch faces. I had a video on that. So it's actually pretty cool. You find a widget that you like. And from here, all you have to do is just tap on it and make sure you import it to your device. It's as easy as this. Now, if you want to set a transparent background for the widgets, all you have to do is go to your home screen and from the home screen, go to the edit mode and swipe to the last page where there are no icons and you take a screenshot. Once you take the screenshot, you go on manage right here and tap on set transparent background and just select the screenshot you just took. And now you can have transparent widgets on the home screen of your iPhone. Next up is another great app. It is called Top Widgets. It offers a ton of different widgets. And you can also make these transparent like that one right there, which allows us to open apps as easy as that. This is really cool. So what I have here is just a few of them. This one is really interesting. Then we have this Apple Watch one, which looks really cool. So you will have the Apple Watch watch face on the home screen of your device. It also has, of course, informations. You have battery there. You will have here the brightness of your device, the date. It's really cool. And they have the smaller one, which actually looks really clean. Now, what you can have with this widget, you can see a bunch of like different informations you can add to the home screen of your device. It also offers lock screen widgets if you want to install them. So you will have here recommended and you will have the different sections. So you will have the X panel right there, which basically shows information regarding your device. You will have quick launcher from where you can just launch apps from the home screen of your device and you will have tools here, clocks, calendars, dashboards and all that stuff. And once you find like a widget that you like, all you have to do is tap there. From here you can of course customize it, change its looks and once you're done with that, all you have to do is just tap on save and you're good to go. It will be saved here and once you have added one of the widgets from top widgets on the home screen, you tap there, tap on edit widget and simply select the one you want to use. Next up is Apollo for Reddit. This is of course one of the best Reddit apps that you can get on the App Store. And it offers a bunch of different widgets for the home screen of your device. Like right there we have icons for subreddits, here we have the feed, we have both of them actually and then we have also here another feed but it also shows images. Now you can customize these, you can choose what you want to see there so you tap on edit widget, you can choose feed type, a subreddit or you want to see just a home tap right there so you have home popular all subreddit subreddit groups all that everything here can be customized you can like create shortcuts so if i just want to go to ios beta subreddit i just tap there and it takes me directly there and if you have an iphone 14 pro 14 pro max then it will also show right there you can see those little animals right there at the island that's really really cool Next is Subtract. Now Subtract is a very popular app that allows us to track your subscriptions. Nowadays, of course, most things on internet are subscription based. So you basically pay subscriptions, maybe on Spotify and Netflix or YouTube or whatever your pay subscriptions, you can actually track these and with this app also track them from the home screen. So right here, we have two small ones. We have one for Spotify right there, which we can of course change You tap on edit widget and you choose what you want to see there. And then you have one for the monthly average and then you will have a medium one which shows two of your most recent subscriptions. You can have also a bigger one with four. So you go into the app and from here you can go ahead and just add any of the subscriptions that you have. And of course, then track them from the home screen. Next up is sports alerts. For any sports fan, you need this app. It's really awesome. You can track all sports, all teams, and of course, even have them on the home screen of your device. Like you can have these smaller ones with your favorite team and of course, track their games, their scores, or you can have this medium one here and see a league that you might like. Now on the app, you can favorite your teams, of course, and you will find them easier. From here, you can of course, edit all of these widgets. I go to edit widget here and choose the league that I want to see there and also I can enable team logos which makes the widget look that much better and here you can just track any team you want you tap there team source your favorite teams or you can go to all teams and just choose here what team you want to like track just make sure you go ahead and search with the name of the team and you're good to go next up is home photos 
Now, of course, the iPhone has a widget for photos, but that's not that good. You cannot customize it. You cannot choose manually which photos you want to display there with this app. You can actually do that. So you go into the app and from here, what you need to do is create albums. So you create an album. Once you have done that, you go ahead and add pictures to that album. Once you have your albums created, you can go to the home screen, add the widget, then tap edit widget here and choose the album you want to see on that widget and you're good to go. Right here we'll have a bunch of different widgets with different albums displaying your photos on the home screen. And last but not least is Activity Tracker. With Activity Tracker you will see all of your activity on the home screen. Well we have a widget for that for the, from, from the fitness app of iOS but this one is much better. You can see this bigger one right here. It shows you your movements, your calories burned, your exercise and all that. Then we have the steps here. So you will have a goal, of course, and it shows you how many steps you have taken that day. You will have the distance and you will have a place here for your awards as well. And we have a smaller one here, which shows how basically the distance, how much have you walk you will it will show you your steps it will show you also here your floors and then of course we have here the goals that we have set for the day so it's really cool it offers a bunch of different sizes of widgets with a bunch of information which you cannot actually get from the stock fitness widget of ios so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps if you want to download any of these widgets make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there Thank you guys for watching the video, subscribe for more, leave a like on this one, and I'll see you on the next video.